Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. This is Miss Patricia, and I'm here today to introduce our guest reader, a Barron resident also named Patricia. She is sharing a favorite book by an author she is grateful for, and I bet you are too. Enjoy! If You Take a Mouse to School by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to school, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich and a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. Then he'll need to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean, he'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house and make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own, so he'll need a lot of paper. He'll probably use up all your pencils. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets and do a little skateboarding. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him back to school. Thank you, Patricia, for sharing your time and en energy on this wonderful read aloud. Laura Numeroff's books bring such joy. Did this story inspire you to revisit a favorite author of your own? Or maybe you're looking for someone new. I do know this. We can all be grateful for the creative genius of the authors in this world. Head to the library. There are more choices than any of us can count, and I know we're all grateful for that. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. Keep reading.